Hey everyone, it's Nate from Voltage. Voltage is the industry leading Bitcoin development platform and infrastructure provider. Check us out at voltage.cloud. We've got BTC Pay Server, we've got Lightning Nodes, we've got a Nostra Toolkit, Lightning Addresses, you name it. If you want to develop a cool app, come to Voltage, check us out. And today I want to be talking about the top five ways to source inbound liquidity for your Lightning Node. So if you have a Lightning Node that you just started, and you know that you need inbound liquidity, which means that you need to get someone else on the network, a node on the network to allocate capital in your direction. How do you do that as a brand new lightning node? You can do swaps. Now swaps are the fastest way to source inbound liquidity, but it could also be the most expensive. So the idea is that you open up a channel to a, uh, a peer, using your own Bitcoin, let's say in this example, 10 million Satoshis. I open up 10 million Satoshis to uh, the voltage node, for example. Okay, now I have 10 million sats on my side of the channel and no inbound. How do I get inbound from that channel? Well, there's uh, services that you can use. One of them is called Lightning Loop, which is an LND uh, service. And for example, I could take my 10 million sats I could send the Lightning Loop service 8 million of that, which moves the liquidity from my outbound to my inbound, and then they pay me back 8 million sats on-chain to my on-chain part of my Lightning node. And now my channel will have 2 million of outbound and 8 million of inbound. So that's a liquidity swap, submarine swap, and they will charge a fee on that. But on Voltage, you could use Lightning Loop fairly easily. Uh, we have it built in. And on most platforms like Start9 and Umbral, anything running LND generally has what's called Lightning Terminal built into it. So you could do these loop outs. Another kind of swap that you could use is if you are on a platform like Cash App or River, where you can send uh, a Lightning payment to your account with these with these services, you can then withdraw that amount on chain again. That could also get you inbound liquidity. But the idea is you're sort of spending it out of your Lightning channel and getting it back on chain. So that's a, a good way to quickly get your inbound liquidity. Now, if you are not a very high time preference with getting your inbound liquidity, a really cool thing is you could just spend your Bitcoin out of your Lightning node. And for example, you could go to uh, the Bitcoin company and they sell Amazon gift cards and they give you sats back when you buy gift cards. So if you're gonna buy stuff on Amazon anyway, you might as well just use your Lightning node. As you spend from your Lightning node, you get inbound liquidity on your channels, which is valuable. And you also get Bitcoin back by buying the gift card. And then you could just go to uh, your Cash App or Swan or whatever and just buy back what you spent off of your Lightning Note. So you're getting all these benefits from using your Lightning Note. And over time, you're gonna have a lot of inbound liquidity. And over time, that node might be a pretty good routing node. All right, and so number three is buying liquidity. So uh, the biggest marketplace where you can actually buy inbound liquidity from other nodes on the network is called Amboss Magma, amboss.space slash magma. And here you can uh, essentially get uh, channels from other nodes on the network and you pay them whatever they're asking and they open a channel, which gives you inbound liquidity. And further, you can use what's called Hydro on Amboss to automate this whole thing. So you can say, for example, I want my node to always have at least 10 million sats of inbound liquidity. You can set that up and it'll detect, does your node have at least that much? And if it doesn't, it'll automatically buy a channel. So you could always have a certain amount of inbound. This is really, really good for merchants that don't wanna just babysit their node all the time. Okay, number four is Lightning Network plus. So this is really cool. Um, after you have a few channels, you could go to somewhere like Lightning Network plus, and you could start doing these uh, liquidity. Um, they call them swaps, but it's really just like uh, liquidity sharing. So for example, you can join one of these groups and say, okay. Uh, a opens to B, B opens to C, and C opens to A. So you're opening up one channel, but you're getting liquidity access to two nodes in a triangle here. 
And you can set your own parameters here. People have it for 5 million, people have it for 1 million. Space is available. Here's a three of five. So five people would join that and each would open a million sats. So A to B, B to C, C to D, D to E, and E to A. And so this is really cool. I use this a lot when I just wanna open up new channels. And finally, number five, getting inbound liquidity is join a community of node runners. Uh, Plebnet is the premier community where you can go to Plebnet and you can say, hey, I'm running a new node, here's my goal. I'd appreciate some uh, channels. And you never know, some people might open up a channel uh, with you. So um, that's probably the top five best ways to get inbound. They're all a little bit different. You can use all of it. You can use just a couple of it, but what's important is that you check it out and use what's best for you and best for what you want your node to do for you. That's going to do it for this video. Thanks for watching. As always, like and subscribe. We're going to have more videos coming out. Check out voltage.cloud. You could spool up a lightning node in two minutes uh, and all we need is an email and password and it's all yours. So check us out. I'll see you guys in the next video.